Afternoon, folks. Uh, it's uh, July 2nd, I think, uh, 2020. And I want to take a few moments to give an honest um, appraisal feedback of a place called Cancun Cosmetic Dentistry and Dr. Germain Asap. Um, I went there. I'm, my name is Paul Grote. I live in Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm in uh, over 60. When I was approaching 60 a few years back, I wanted to get my teeth in order. I figured, okay, this is the time and I'm going to spend some money and I'm going to get my teeth, um, whatever work needed to be done. And I was looking around here and I was getting, you know, I'm in Vancouver and British Columbia, I was getting potential bills, 20, 30 grand. And so I started looking for alternatives. And in my research, I'd heard stories about there's some great dentists in, Me in uh, Mexico. And so I started looking around and I came across this place in Cancun called Cancun Cosmetic Dentistry. And um, research online and everything appeared to be great. And I'll tell you one thing, my first point, number one, do more research. Um, what I found after the fact is, and this is my opinion only, is these guys are experts at taking negative reviews off the Internet. And let me let you know there's tons of them. There was even, I found out after the fact that there was a TV show here in Vancouver that did a report specifically on these guys. Um, I mean, it's to me. So I went down there. I ended up spending about 10 grand to get my lower teeth fixed. I'd already had a bunch of work done in the tops. And in, to be very blunt with you, it was the worst mistake I've ever made. It's my personal opinion. I'm not a dental expert by any means, but... I think these guys are trying to do work that they're not qualified for. I think they're looking for, like right now when I went online and looked at their um, website, they were advertising all of which is the rave right now, which is posts and dentures for people that are older. And I honestly don't believe they're qualified to do this work. And I don't think they ever have been. I think Dr. Germain Assant is way above his head. And I am. I'm going to show you some stuff in a minute and tell you where some of my opinions come from. But after the fact, I started doing more and more research and I started finding more and more people that had negative effects. I'm going to put some links to some other people that have had really bad results there. But I'm going to show you my bad result in a minute. If that doesn't scare you now away from these guys, nothing's going to. So as I said, I was in my early, my late uh, late 50s, early 60s, and I wanted to get my teeth done. So I'm 65. I turned 65 a little while ago. And um, I, uh, these guys, bad news. And I'm going to tell you a couple of reasons why. Number one, I hope I haven't got anything. I just ate something. But I want you to see what my teeth look like five years after. So I should have this nice mouthful of really nice teeth. Well, I want you to see what my teeth look like five years so I'm 65. Now, i got to tell you something. I went to local dentists and said, so how much to fix this? And they talked about 25, 30 grand or more to undo the work from Dr. Asante or whatever his, his name is, Cancun Cosmetic Dentistry, and his people. So here's my teeth. Yep, there aren't any. Everything these guys did fell out. I'll say this again, everything they did within five years was gone. And not only that, it put pressure on the few. My own teeth were still here, and they're gone now too. The damage to my mouth, especially at my age, is criminal, I believe. I, I personally believe, and this is just my opinion, that there should be a, uh, a lawsuit um, from Canada, the United States, and Mexico from people who have gone to this person. Again, I'm going to send you, put some links down below my nice little review here. I'm trying to be polite, and I'm actually underneath in an absolute rage about what these people have done. And again, you're going to start, if you really do your research, you're going to find even ex-employees that are aghast at what's been done at this place. And this new stuff these guys are doing, go anywhere else. Like, I mean, go anywhere else. Do not go there. Do not, oh, I forgot the one thing I forgot. I did a video before and I was actually too angry. So this is why I'm doing this again. So this jerk 
gets at the end. So if you went to a dentist in, in North America and in Canada, the United States, you trust your dentist that they know what the heck they're doing and they're honest and they have integrity. Not in this case. Dr. Nice Little Germain Assant put a friggin' post way, way up here in the top and charged me 800 or 900 bucks. It's going to cost me five grand to have it surgically removed. When I got back here, the doc, dentist here in Vancouver said, well, what in the world did he put that there for? There's no need for it to be there. It was a cash grab to put a 50, I don't know how much these posts are, but they're sure not worth a lot of money, into my jaw. He screwed a piece of metal into my upper jaw, which I now have to spend five grand to have surgically removed when there was no reason to put it there in the first place. If this doesn't say a whole pile to you, I don't think anything will. So you've seen I have no teeth left. I have a post way up here that shouldn't be there that I have to spend five grand to have surgically removed. I had to get, I got a local clinic to pull out anything. I had two small teeth that weren't broken here on the front. They pulled those out. I'm stuck with dentures, but having a whole pile more teeth removed. And that was my experience. And But I'm going to put some links on the page here where you can go read for yourself and take heed, take warning. If this doesn't scare the hell out of you, then you please, uh, all I can tell you is this is what happened to me. And I know I'm by, by far not unique. So folks, I'm really trying to give you a heads up. And I hope I've done it in a dis in a way that's just factual and that hits to the point and especially with the post being put way up here on the top and all of my teeth falling out after five years and I'm at 65 years old and I have no bottom teeth and uh, I'm you know I'm embarrassed to go outside I'm embarrassed to meet with people I'm embarrassed to to try to to do things to make money to pay for all this crap and this doesn't include the cost. It cost me to fly to Cancun, Mexico and put myself up in a hotel and everything else on top of this and top of the money I paid these guys, which was about 10 grand in cash. Do not, my personal recommendation, if you're talking to Rob, one of the guys, their salespeople, don't trust anything he tells you. And by far, do not trust anything Dr. Germain or Sante tells you. That's my personal opinion. Um, I'm not a dental expert, but by, if my teeth in this post don't say the world to you, then I, good luck with you. <laughs> Take care now, and I hope this helps you, and I hope it helps you to make, not make the same mistakes that I've made. Have a wonderful day. God bless, and take care of yourself.